So we made the hot dogs enjoyable for everybody by making each of the dish unique to itself. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm currently 22 years old and I'm working as an account executive at a media agency and I'm also mending the store together with my parents. I've been in Singapore since I was seven, so that was about 13, 14 years. We opened Shake and Dog last year uh, in June. My dad had difficulty looking for a job in Singapore, so it was very difficult to get a working permit. Even though he had a job, he couldn't stay in Singapore because there was no permit, so he had to go back to Korea and for the longest time, we had to live apart and that was a very difficult time for my mom, my brother and I. So we were just looking for a way to just bring him back to Singapore to be together with the family and that was how Shake and Dog came about. My family chose to go with hot dogs over Korean food is because it was something that everybody could enjoy. So we made the hot dogs enjoyable for everybody by making each of the dish unique to itself. So for example, we have chili dog, which is our signature dog, and then we have kimchi dog. If you want something more fusion, we have carbonara dog. And it just happened to be each of our favorite dishes. That's how the inspiration came about. Milkshakes came about because one day we decided to have ice cream after we tried the hot dogs, and it was perfect. And we were like, how do we make this a set meal? Something that people can enjoy. And we tried milkshakes, and it was it was really good because this is very sweet and the hot dog is very salty so it really balanced out the flavours so the flavours wise for the milkshake it was actually all experimented as well so we tried one by one it was also inspired by something that we actually like as a family my nationality came in the way to a certain extent because my family is obviously not Singaporean uh, I'm a PR but the company is actually signed under my parents names so when it comes to like any loans that we can do or like any uh, grants that we can sign up for was actually limited so we had to work with really our savings to start the business I think the most difficult time is right now because uh, of the coronavirus Chinatown is actually heavily affected but thankfully we have our delivery services so actually a lot of our customers choose to order through the uh, delivery services instead of coming to the store the menu was inspired by each of our favorite dishes Kimchi Da actually came into play somewhere down the road because somebody said Hey, why don't you guys sell something more Korean? So we experimented with fresh kimchi and it actually worked really well and it's currently our best seller. It's actually made with a same old grilled bun with the Johnsonville sausage inside. Uh, it's topped with bulgogi which is freshly made every day and we have kimchi which is also freshly made. Uh, our customers do point out that our kimchi tastes very different from other kimchi and it's topped with uh, mustard sauce and that's what gives the tangy uh, flavours at the end. Uh, a little bit of sweetness as well because it's a honey mustard um, and yeah, we just sprinkle it with parsley and that does the magic. So the kaya banana dog was actually inspired by kaya toast which is my family's favourite breakfast dish in Singapore and it was also one of the first breakfast dish that we had when we first came to Singapore. So it has a slab of mozzarella and kaya and grilled banana on top uh, of course with the bun and the sausage. As for the original milkshake, we didn't just want to go with the plain old vanilla. So we decided to add some potato chips at the side. We're supposed to scoop it up and eat it together. And then when the ice cream starts to melt, you start to drink it with the straw. It's an experience. So as for the speculous shake, it's actually one of our best sellers. It's made with generous portion of Lotus Biscuits, which is usually accompanied with coffee. Uh, as for the red bean, red bean is actually my mom's favorite. So red bean is actually homemade. Every 2-3 days, you make a new batch and it's been blended in together with the milkshake to create the shake. It's not overly sweet and you still get to have the texture of the red bean as you drink in every bite, so it's actually pretty good. Our goal would actually be yes to open another store in Singapore. I think uh, this was a Kickstarter where we can just you know test the ground, see what people like. Something that will really motivate us is actually our friends who's always been supporting us, especially my office colleagues or my personal friends who say, hey, let's go to your shop for lunch. And then we just come here, we'll have a seat here and then they'll just order food and we'll just have a chat. And next time they bring their friends and it just shows our hard work. Returning customers who are very shy to talk to us, but we do recognize you and it really makes our day. I think to people that have never tried it, I would say 
you're missing out. And I want to introduce Chicken Dog as a very honest family business where customers become friends. And my mom and my dad really puts a thought into every single hot dog that goes out. We're always putting in effort into every hot dog and it really means a lot to us that you come back and it really makes us happy. And the calories are going to be worth it.